Oh my god, boys, we're back. We're back with another video. Today, we're going to be training our aim because we've been needing to train our aim for quite some time. And, well, I'm saying quite some time because it's been about 17 hours since I trained my aim and we're staying up and we're doing an all-nighter because my sleep schedule has been terrible. So if my aim is a bit shaky, that's why. I'm going to be doing an hour of Kovacs to practice my aims because, well, having aim and training your aim consistently is probably one of the most important things. Let me focus here. Give me a sec. Wow, okay, we have just improved our score by a bit, even whilst we were focusing on something else, proving that our aim is indeed getting better. Let's go, boys. We're actually gassed. Okay, three more rounds of this. Nice, we're in the 90th percentile, top 6k in terms of aim. We're improving, boys, we're improving. Now, why am I training aim specifically? Because aim is one of the key factors to becoming a better player in Fortnite. If you're not training your aim consistently, I don't know what you're doing. I neglected my aim for the majority of my Fortnite career, and guess why I turned out? Only earning 1.5k, and so all the best players is train their aim. Muzz is one of the greatest players in the game. He's quite very obese, but that's fine because he still trains his aim and he doesn't really care about his weight. He doesn't need to. I mean, if he's doing well for himself, that's fine. Isn't it? If he doesn't care about his weight, he probably should. He should probably lay off the McDonald's. But at the same time, he trains his aim consistently and guess what? He's a GOAT for it. One of the GOAT aimers in this game. Oh Lord. Yeah, that was bad. That was bad. I missed on those last ones, but it's fine. It's fine. All right, new game, new game, new game. What's the new game? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I was low-key kind of spewing nonsense there, but I'm speaking the truth relatively. I hope you guys like the uh, new new camera stuff. I'm having it in front of me so you guys can actually see me when I'm speaking to you, you know? I want to have a face-to-face -face talk. I'm waffling there, but I'm also not waffling. Muzz is one of the greatest aimers in Fortnite, realistically. He's like, actually, he's a T1 pro. He's moved to the NA and he's performing immaculately with all his new skills. If you're not training your aim, you are going to get fucking destroyed by the players who are. You're gonna get destroyed by players like me who are consistently training their aim and other players who are higher level than I am currently who are also training their aim because everyone at the top is training their aim everyone at the top is training their mechanics everyone at the top is training their in-game knowledge now some of them are, might be slacking right now but they have trained their aim in the past or they have played the game for long enough to where their aim is no longer one of their issues if you don't have steady aim if you haven't got consistent shots if you can't consistently hit your targets you're going to get destroyed by the person who can and it's honestly being able to perform at a high level consistently which is going to decipher whether or not you become a professional player or a high tier player like a t1 t2 player or whether or not you're just joe joe schmo you feel me i kind of just gave you those clips in the beginning just to let you know that i did actually do my kovacs and i'm i've done my kovacs today i've done about an hour and 20 minutes because i did two 45 minute training sessions i don't think that's is it? That's about an hour and a half. Yeah, I've done about an hour and a half of Kovac today because I did two 45 minute training sessions where it was roughly the same thing as what I just showed you on screen, but I went through the entire course. The course right now I'm currently using, I think it's the Fortnite Mr. Savage something, but it's not about what I'm doing in Kovac. It's whether or not I'm actually training it. You could be doing any sort of training on your aim. Just make sure it will correlate into Fortnite. Make sure you have your settings checked in line. Make sure you have your, your refresh rate, your full screen, your settings are all in line with Fortnite. So then when you actually go and you know play Fortnite, the the aim training you've just done actually correlates to your game because there's no point of you training in Kovacs for like six hours just for you to be absolute dog shit because you haven't well none of the settings you're using in game match the settings you're using in Kovacs. Uh, I'm gonna be playing some gameplay by the way, so whatever you're watching right now, I don't know what it is you're watching, but hopefully you guys are gonna enjoy it. It's probably gonna be something like Mongol gameplay just to have it running in the background. I actually did record a, a bit of gameplay of actual Fortnite. I played a ranked game where I almost qualified to qualify. To qualify. I almost ranked up to Unreal from 50% by dropping a 20 kill win, but I died to a kid with traps. And the funny thing is, I didn't record the actual gameplay. So you can see me playing. You, sorry, you can't see me playing. You can only hear me playing. So it's kind of useless footage. So I'm just going to play something in the back and kind of go over the things I did today. So we did play a bit of ranked. I told you that. We did a bit of aim training, did a mechanic training to improve our binds and make sure that we become fluid with not only our key binds and our, our aim with with Kovacs, etc. Now, 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 now. This is day number two. Uh, I welcome you guys to the journey if you are if you are new here. If you aren't aware, this is my Fortnite Pro journey. This is my, where I basically take you along the trip of me becoming a Fortnite Pro from amateur medium status and becoming a high tier one pro. This way, when I actually do get there, uh, everything that I did to get there, I've shared with you so you guys can understand what it takes one and two. Um, you know that I'm not bullshitting you because I was 
actually just an amateur player and now I'm actually I, I aspire to be a high level uh, esports athlete and so if you'd like to join me on this journey I would love for you to subscribe down below and join me on my way to becoming a high level esports player now in the video that I did record but the visuals were fucked I talked about one thing and it's being uncomfortable now let me explain being uncomfortable is going to be the single dictator of whether or not you become a high level athlete in anything or you become a high level athlete in or a high level uh, business owner or a high level esports player or a high level anything a high level in whatever you're trying to pursue being uncomfortable is going to be by bar none one of the most important things in order to see success in that field at least from what i've learned and so when i'm doing these kovac sessions consistently daily i'm doing them because i understand that well doing kovacs is uncomfortable playing kovacs and actually focusing on your aim and focusing on trying to improve your aim is uncomfortable playing customs in order to improve my game awareness is un uncomfortable for the most part because you have to do so much work in order to actually learn and then vod review to make sure to see what you did wrong etc which i am also doing by the way vod review and so if you're not truly being uncomfortable you're barely going to grow you're barely going to become a better player you're barely going to well see anything at least that's what i'm taking away from my own journey i'm putting myself in the most uncomfortable position in terms of like what you want to be doing on this game in order to actually see the most amount of progress my mechanics have drastically improved because i've been spending up to two hours every single day putting in work into creative and improving my mechanics there uh, so is my aim and so is my uh, game sense from the customs i play i'm actually playing the division ladder in noble today which i might be streaming so if this video is up before then i'll leave the uh, link to my kick down below and you can join my stream and well see me play in action so yeah i just wanted to go over this topic because i think it's actually going to be a very a key vital note for me to for me to understand that you do need to be uncomfortable in order to grow and become a better player and if you yourself are trying to become a high level athlete in this game a high level esports player or a high level whatever you know whatever you're trying to pursue being uncomfortable is how you win doing the work that you don't want to do because that's also the work that nobody else wants to do is exactly the work you need to do in order to win and i don't think it's as complicated as people make it out to be it's simple it's just people don't want to do the work nobody wants to spend the time working on Kovacs consistently every single day for three months and for the first two months you see no real progress simply because well growth in that aspect isn't linear it will grow it will grow it will grow and then it will just exponentially get to a point where you're so good you hardly ever miss a shot you'll be like a godly player no one wants to review their gameplay and no one wants to you know look at their mistakes because looking at their mistakes is hard and self-reflection is probably one of the most difficult things to do it's not complicated you just need to see where you fucked up and fixed it and fixed it and fix it but it's probably one of the hardest things to do consistently because well nobody wants to do it it's not it's not complex it's actually very simple it's just people don't want to do it nobody wants to you know and that's exactly usually why t1 players stand out against most because these t1 players fun fact actually have it easy compared to most people why because they actually enjoy doing these things on their own they enjoy looking back at their bots they enjoy playing callbacks they enjoy you know learning mechanics they enjoy talking with their teammates and understanding how to communicate well as a duo they understand how to rotate on their own in uh, solos they understand how to fight people in solos they understand how to they understand the core concepts of becoming and being a competitive player and they learn these things by doing the thing that they enjoy which is just becoming better at fortnite and if you don't enjoy becoming better at fortnite you don't need to enjoy becoming better at fortnite in order to become better at fortnite but it is going to make it a lot easier because the truth is the world doesn't care about whether or not you enjoy something it cares about whether or not you do something if i don't enjoy eating less food but i eat less food it doesn't matter if i enjoy it or not i will still lose weight that's just how the world works it has a set set rules in place where if you do the things necessary you will get the given outcome a bad person can become a millionaire if they do the right things and a good person will never become a millionaire if they do do the right things and so you can listen to all these pro players saying you know i saw a tweet by young calculator saying if you're not a pro by now there's a reason for it you're not genetically gifted but then you also have to look at the guy but the guy's never put in actual effort into something that he didn't enjoy in his life ever the guy's literally huge no offense but the guy is overweight i'm not picking at him but like the guy doesn't understand what work is he's a kid the same way most people playing fortnite are the same way i am however i'm taking the due diligence to learn from people older than me and learn well the truth of the matter is it's not about whether or not you know you like 
working out or you like becoming better at Fortnite. If you do the things that will make you become better at Fortnite and you do the things that will make you get into shape, you will get into shape and you will get better at Fortnite. That is just how it works. I'll see you guys in the next one. Much love. Uh, day three soon. Day three, I'm probably going to go over the Noble um, the noble Games just to show you guys like how it goes, etc. And, you know, my progress so far. Anyway, so it's been two days. Next post as well, we're putting the little Uzi. Uh, little Uzi? We're putting the little Uzi meme. So, uh, see you there. Ciao.